Good afternoon, students. Myself, Rajesh Dadich from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. So I'm your mentor, and today we are going to start one more topic of your English book, English book woven words. So, students, today our last chapter of the book is bridges, chapter seven, or you may call it essay seven of your book woven words. And this chapter bridges was written by Kumudni Lakhia. So the title of the chapter bridges means to bridge up something. Two sides of something are to be bridged up. This gap is to be bridged up. Is known as bridges. Means whatever is trying to cover up the gap between two things, two poles, known as bridges. So many bridges are there. So in this chapter, the writer. Kumudni Lakhia is trying to explain her childhood and young age. So, what was the bridge between young age and childhood? Between her and her mom, between her non-academics and academics. So, in what way the gap between childhood and young age means adolescence, gap between her mother and herself gap between her regular academics in a boarding school and her non academics as a dancer so they have been tried to bridge up so here the chapter is <clears throat> if my younger self could see me now she would be incredulous if we look at our childhood especially my childhood it would be beyond any kind of belief nobody would be able to trust that believe that that I would work in the field of dance or decipher and translate dance for my own comprehension. Actually, I did not. I did not take up this profession as a dancer of my own, right? And you may call it choreography if you wish. Would have been unbelievable. In this respect, I am particularly envious of dancers who claim that they were born to dance. Actually, students, in this first para, it has been given by the pointer, by the writer Kumudni Lakhia about her childhood that she did not take up this dancing field of her own, but she was inspired. Actually, once she watched a serial or movie in in that a scene of dance was there, and she enjoyed that, and she kept on prancing at her home, and in this way, her parents. Notice that, especially her mother noticed that she had the talent of being a dancer. That's why only, in all truth, as a child, I never did want to dance. Okay, got it clear? So, it was forced upon me by a doting mother and a silent father. My father was silent because my mother kept on speaking and my father did never feel like interfering what she was saying. Okay, that's why father has been just a sarcastic comment. My father probably kept his, kept his peace to avoid argument. From the beginning, my lessons took place under trying conditions, though I believe that the conditions were more trying for my mother than for me. Actually, that was really a, a test, a time period full of experiments, full of uh, problems and difficulties but her mother never cared for that and she wanted her daughter to be a good dancer also and she put her best efforts for that so it has been given to students and uh, when she was uh, at her dancing classes her mother waited a whole hour in the not so clean ante room of my guru's house and then endured tolerated the same journey back she would take me to the dance class and she would bring me to the uh, from the dance class and this was in bombay and my first dance lessons were with guru sundar prasad okay student and actually that uh, guru lived in chopati and this uh, this writer Kumudni used to live with her mother at Khar. Khar was the place, right? And every time they had to go by go on foot, by bus, and by train. And in this way, they had to go to the class. Interestingly, it was the film industry that spurred, gave speed to my mother to enroll me in dance classes. When I was seven only, we went to see a movie starring Mumtaz Ali, father of the comedian Mahmood. 
Mumtaz Ali was the father of Mahmood, the comedian of that time, and that movie was there. And Ali, Mumtaz Ali, did a dance number in the film with which I became fascinated. As we have already discussed, that she was inspired means Kumudni was the writer was inspired by this dance, and in this way she started dancing, and her mother could guess that Kumudni, you are born to dance, and ironically. I have no memories of this story. It was my mother who saw this inborn ability in me. Her belief was so strong that she went through the grueling exercise, very tough exercise of taking me. Means in this way she was taking Kumudni, her daughter, to the dance class. Then she was to bring her back safely, and in this way she had to most uh, she had to waste most of her precious time, and she had to bear all the troubles during this process, right? However, my childhood education was composed of much more than just dance and academics. What I told you, a bridge between academics and non-academics, academics, regular studies and dance, non-academics. I did not live in a vacuum, vacuum means in a uh, wide place, empty place. I was, uh, means every time I remained busy, I never remained free, okay. Then I was surrounded by life and learned many of my lessons there. And as the writer was growing up, she faced so many real lessons of life. And at the time, life during World War II, she faced in which India played a role in military operations. My father being an engineer, actually her father was a civil engineer. And uh, at the call of the British, at the British call, he had to move from one place to another for construction work of bridges and roads. So it has been given in this para okay students and he grabbed her and uh, a very interesting incident has been narrated in this para students actually at the time at the time liaquat ali prime minister of pakistan of that time so this uh, kumudni along with the friends uh, once happened to be in the garden and they were caught by the gardener uh, when they were trying to pluck some fruits guava guavas and raw mangoes they were plucking and in this way but this prime minister was so liberal and lenient that he let them go and he said that now you are at your liberty you can come anytime and you can enjoy in my garden but the children never felt like entering that garden again just because of the horrible and terrible face of the gardener okay and actually this was just the policy of the prime minister to bring everyone into his contact and that's why the writer is making a comment that the game that politicians play just like this all the politicians all the politicians play this game father would now have to move have to move to wherever army construction was required as we have already discussed with students I had not known a day away from home, but the idea. Actually, later when her father thought that uh, he keeps on moving from here and there, and her mother was also not present, so for the for their daughter Kumundi's better education, they thought of sending her to some boarding school. And it has been mentioned that the writer was feeling quite different because not even a single day she was away from home. So this idea shuddered her from inside. Okay. No such luck. Mother sent a dance teacher. Her mother was resourceful, so uh, to the boarding school with the permission of the school management, she sent this dance teacher Radhe Lal Misra, Sundar Prasad nephew, who was so along with me to the hostel. And uh, her mother was so much resourceful that she arranged a residence, also local residence, also for his dance teacher. Despite her belief that I was born to dance, that despite my mother's belief that I was an inborn dancer, I never enjoyed dance classes. This is a paradox. Her mother, her mother's faith was that she was an inborn dancer. But the point, but the writer is saying I never enjoyed my dance classes. I never derived any kind of interest. Quite frankly, they were no fun. I felt as if nothing progressed. That I was just doing. What my guru ordered. Actually, I was at the back and call of my guru. Otherwise, I was not at all feeling any kind of interest from this dance class. Having spent several several years in a school where most of our teachers were British, I have come to like their form of discipline. The the writer is saying that the British were so much fond of discipline. That's why she was very much impressed with the way they were teaching and with the way they were behaving. 
Uh, it was three weeks before the final school examination matriculation at that time when my life changed dramatically. Actually, students, her annual examinations were approaching, but all of a sudden one day she was called to the principal room. And as usual, it just happens that whenever a child is called by the principal, so the child thinks, what wrong have I done? Why have I been called to the principal room? I have not committed any mistake. So inwardly, the child is feeling afraid. Exactly the same happened with the writer Kumudni also. And when she was told in the principal room that you have been called by your father, we have just got a message that you have been urgently required at your home. So she went there, but she was not clear why she was called over there. But when she went there, she found that her mother was no more. Her mother was the only person who, with whom she was too much bonded. She was too much attached right students so when she went there she, her mother was not there so that's why it has been given her life when my life changed dramatically so this dramatic change was there in her life it has been given okay students so mother was already dead when i was when i arrived 36 hours three train rides later when i saw her motionless and colorless i finally understood why i had been summoned home i was 14 years old Okay, student, at the time she was 14 years old, the air was still and nobody looked at me. I did not know where to turn or what to do with my hands, which hung loose from my body. I felt helpless and I was quite confused. Without the presence of my mother, I was not able to do anything because I was entirely dependent on my mother. Everything was shaped up by my mother. That's why when she was no more, I was quite confused. The same thing happens, students. So a vast emptiness was there. This emptiness was there in her life. Even today, I mistake the different kinds of hunger inside me and this is something that shows up in my work. Hunger for work. The dangling arms find expression in my choreography. Choreography is the art of teaching dance. In duvida or conflict, these are the names or these are the names of conflict means duvida means dilemma when one buddy uh, one person finds himself not to be understanding what is good and what is bad so i examined the plight of a middle class woman so we are talking about this do without conflict drama or play in which the main character is a woman and she is a middle class woman who is chained to the traditions of indian life she is restricted to domestic circles and is forbidden from wearing sleeveless blouses must wear her hair in a bun and must cater to her husband this she learned okay and yet from a small video she sees the newspaper newspaper man waving images of a woman with a bold streak of white in her short hair who wears sleeveless blouses is surrounded by men who listen to her intently is widowed but wears colorful sarees actually students so many phases are there in the life of children she was taught like this but uh, actually she faced something different sleeveless blouses were there but she had learned that they were restricted but in a practical life she saw each and everything the character the character in duvida is torn between two lives two kinds of lives are there means they are to be bridged up with a bridge first life is she feels an emptiness within her because she is a widow but is not sure what she is hungry for but she has a desire to do something she has a zeal in her own character to do something different what kind of life she wants actually what she wants and what is actually is the different thing this is something i have felt often yet now the same plight the writer is expressing about herself she is also quite confu confused what she is to do and what is really going on i am more certain of where to place my hands my exams yielded surprisingly good result and actually when she passed her exam she beyond her doubt beyond expectation she got this success and that's why this question has cropped up throughout my life and many years later took shape in my composition Atakim. Students it's a funny it's funny how we store our experiences in our brains as if we are pre-recorded cases 
the right cases seems to fall into place when you at least expect to expect it to. Upon finishing school when I had finished my schooling I was at a crossroad means the place of confusion what to do and what not the place of dilemma and the path ahead was not clear to me the poet the writer was quite confused I was always driven and that partly stems from the fact that I had a relatively relatively subdued childhood my childhood was comparatively suppressed I was enveloped I was covered by a great mist of protection and I wanted to emerge from that mist and discover myself so again this is the gap gap of restrictions and one end is of restrictions and one end of and is related to reality so this gap is to be bridged up the writer is talking about okay at the age of 15 at the age of 14 she lost her mother now at the age of 15 after one year I had my options and it would have been easy enough to join college for a bachelor's or master's degree in psychology or English actually this was common option for her but she did not want to go for psychology or English because most of the people at the time used to go for that and she wanted to do something different hers wish was something different so it was that I, I decided to attend an agriculture to make it different she decided to attend an agriculture college in Nani okay students at Allahabad but nowadays it has been changed to Prayagraj okay there were 29 boys and I in a class of 30 having spent my school years in a girls school actually it was quite different because uh, her whole childhood early childhood was spent in a girls school but now it was she was the one and only girl student in the class along with 29 boys students so I knew little about the behavior of boys my brother was seven years younger so his friends were no help to me I did not know the psychology and mindset of boys so however at the agriculture college I got a taste of relations between boys and girls then only when I got admission to college then only I came to know what the real relationship and what the meaning is how they behave we had to travel for miles in the fields on bicycles the boys deflated the tires of my bicycle so that they could walk back with me actually these boys nothing actually nothing was wrong these boys liked playing pranks on her that's why maybe they used to deflate her bicycle tires and that's why she had to go to her place go back to her place through the fields on foot and in this way these boys used to join her and in this way they liked to spend some time with her otherwise nothing was wrong also I was fascinated by the professor mostly American who wore shorts because we worked in fields agriculture work is there that's why they used to wear shorts only okay students and had 58 eyes peering at my legs and I also had to uh, wear shorts and uh, when I was wearing my shorts so students were looking at my bare legs so it was giving me quite different experience my grandmother when came to know that I was wearing shorts she was not at all feeling good and had always said that girls must never push their chest out or or uncover their legs actually her grandmother was uh, somewhat diplomatic or, or old-fashioned woman so she used to say that you know, females or girls should not should not push their chest or breast or uncover their legs and opposite to this she was supposed to behave like this then only she could come to know what is the difference between theory and practice I now realize what she meant but could not accept it as valid what about what about the short blouses you wear so one day I was quite confused I asked my grandmother what about wearing these short blouses you wear with your midriff showing what do you mean that uh, we should not behave like this why do you show your midriff midriff is the part of the belly that remains bare while wearing sari and blouse okay students so navel on uh, the part of the uh, belly around the navel when it is kept bare I asked her and she got irritated her grandmother on being asked this question she lost her temper and she said that don't argue with me when will we understand the dignity of the female body 
a dancer has to move with dignity in this para students a female dancer how she is supposed to behave and she has to make all movements while dancing so she is saying nothing is wrong while making the movements and actions of the dance so she is against all these views another argument i often had with my grandmother was about religion and visiting temples go to the temple before your exam her grandmother used to tell her beta you have to you should go to the tem temple you should make your wish before the, in front of the deities in front of the idols of god and make your wish and after the fulfilling of your wish you just go back to the temple to thank to god with offerings so i was not at all believing all these practices which were not at all practical okay after graduating with a degree in agriculture at the age of 18 so students at the age of 14 she lost her mother at the age of 15 she joined the college at the age of 18 she left this college means she completed a graduation i was left with few job prospects possibilities were there she had so many offers and was again at a crossroad again she was confused which way to go luckily good fortune came to me without much beckoning and it happened in bombay i had gone to the train station to see of suresh who was studying at shewood college in nanidal while i was waving to the train that no that had now disappeared there was a tap on my shoulder i turned around and the woman who stood there now once again dramatic change is going to take place students just see and this dramatic change brought about a big change drastic change in her life that woman who tapped from behind so all those tedious difficult hours of dance lessons fused into a new fused means infused into a new synergy and she was Komal Tadat, a friend of my father's and more importantly the person who introduced Uday Shankar to the dance legend Anna Pavlova in Paris she was a good choreographer she gave this offer to Komodni and here she was telling me to join the Ram Gopal Dance Academy dance company based in London it took some learning to adjust to working with a group of professional dancers and musicians on the move all the time and the opportunity exposed me to a very different aspect of dance education actually i was just dancing only i was not at all a choreographer so this was quite new to me uh, actually uh, like company of kerala ghumar of rajasthan dandia of gujarat all were included in this dance company all were part of troops repertoire means wherever they were going this group of uh, dancers were going so that was the important integral part of that what i enjoyed most was learning the classical bharatanatyam from ram gopal himself who was a strict disciplinarian and had a fetish for prof perfection of line line means dance line dance profession however in the end he would say you have perfected the technique now throw it overboard and dance this is a lesson i have tried to teach my own students this was taught to her before you begin experimenting you need to perfect the technique with which you experiment before you are going to make any experiment first of all you are required to acquire perfection touring with ram gopal not only taught me more about dance i discovered i discovered new things about my own personality okay encountering people when you are going from place to place you are encountering you are facing so many people of different different temperament this is also a new exper experiment with different experience more often then not i found that my weaknesses were brought glaringly into focus i came to realize the importance of context how things change when you change their placement one of the most striking moments of that tour was my time in post war germany actually at the time germany was involved in that world war 2 it was unbelievably sad place hungry children begging for food is a common sight in india yet in germany the same sight created a different sensation in india uh, hungry children seeing hungry children is quite common but in germany it's not common 
okay one changes the placement of a choreographer piece on stage and it looks quite different i myself was a changed person when i when played in different surrounding still a long tour of many countries in europe and america is exhausting very tiresome it was i was constantly traveling between india and various parts of the globe of the world in all i was aboard i was abroad for 3 years and by the end i needed to go home but where was home where the home and how does one make a home for oneself buy a house what is home simply buying a house getting married having children making friends is that the life she was quite confused i had only the last item on the agenda what is the last item making friends students okay so while in school in lahore i had made a lot of friends this is the last okay so but they now lived in a different country and that is pakistan earlier lahore was the part of india integral part of india but after um, division indo pak division that went into pakistan i had to obtain a visa to visit my closest friend over a weekend i would like to say i am a political means i don't believe in politics but i have discovered that politics makes its presence felt even when uninvited on my return the last of many returns what ultimately awaited me were marriage children and a flat in mumbai a student we have already learned what is life having home getting married having house getting married having children and friends so she opted for friends after that getting married having a house and children this phase came children and a flat in bombay finally i had a home also but it came with strings attached i now had to manage this new home in a society like ours where a woman wanting to work outside the home must do so in addition to her domestic responsibilities now she is naturally reminded of her own mother how she used to manage all these things of work and on work right it is easy to feel overwhelmed still i don't do too badly thanks to my supportive husband rajni khan in spite of his own background in a family where men are treated as a special breed he was a good man despite this background he was quite good and uh, not only good but good husband where men are treated as a special and with the extraordinary quality of believing everything the word suspicion was absent from his vocabulary he never doubted on anything and on anybody right this made him popular but unsuccessful both as a professional and a parent means as a father but a very accommodating husband he was he was very much supporting supportive to me my biggest benefit from my association with him was the love of music he instilled in me earlier i was a dancer but now he instilled music also in my life if he had chosen music as a profession he would have done better in life but his bar at law from lincoln's inn in london pushed him into the wrong line of work bar at law means he was a lawyer and actually this was a wrong choice of his life as the writer is saying i must say i am blessed with a wonderful family two normal and healthy children i have got my son shiraj shiraj and daughter matre now married they both are with their own children looking back i keep wondering what my contribution was as a mother but it must have been satisfactory to attain these results actually students this is the title of the chapter bridges to bridge up two different things to how to coordinate between two different aspects of life one has an extended sense of ambition and the other allows things to transpire as they are destined to the only point on which they agree is that they disagree with my profession it is interesting to have this kind of variety in a family living with a group of different personalities beneath one roof is like performing with other artists on stage the equation the space factor vibrations and relationships must be taken into serious consideration you are no longer performing solo you belong to a longer image and must develop a new set of performing skills students in the real life you are not the person who is playing 
his role all alone because so many things so many people are there who are supporting you and who go hand in hand along with you so we have to manage with all these things and this is the name of bridge okay students so to make management time management skill management practice management all these things are to be considered so that there is no gap between two different things and whatever we use to coordinate between things is known as bridges students i hope you might have got it so have a look at the introduction of the author kumudni lakhia born in 1930 is a renowned kathak dancer and choreographer who was taught and influenced by the famous ram gopal as we have already learned from ram gopal he, she learned bharat natyam she has performed in over 40 countries but chose to give up her career as a solo performer to start the kadam dance center in ahmedabad where she trains students in the art of classical kathak dance her other achievements include choreographing for two very successful hindi films umrao jaan umrao jaan and sur sangam these are two movies in which she played the role of a choreographer and her awards include the all india sangeet natya kala award sangeet natak academy national award kala ratna award sangeet kala sangam and the padma shri in 1987 on the occasion of 50 years of independence the city of ahmedabad awarded her with the nagar bhushan as padma bhushan is there she was awarded with nagar bhushan for being such a great classical dancer of her city ahmedabad also so students i hope you might have got it in case you come across any kind of doubts just feel free and sort out your doubts with us we are always ready to help you out so see you some other time enjoy your life enjoy your regular academics and wish you best of luck thank you